Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, lecture and this is about the SCADA overview and uh, uh, basically I have taken a zonal architecture of SCADA here so that uh, we will have benefit in the further part of the chapters also to understand what is the zone but for now consider zone as a just just a zone uh, as in board English so it's a just an area so let us see what it is so basically uh, we can see it's a primary substation secondary substation dr substation and household so all these are connected to some some process zone or or uh, or, or a SCADA dm zone or ame zone but one thing you can notice that all these communications are not the wired communication so it could be a fiber it could be a gps or lte or, or a wireless communication so it's a gprs or lt communications and it is going directly to internet or uh, we are using a cell tower communication using cdma or lt or anything so th this is the major thing in the scada where we use the communication irrespective of uh, uh, what what it could be we can use 5g 4g gprs lt uh, fiber communication so basically these substations are located at a distant location that's why we need to use the available communication uh, methods and and those those are not like the dcs where we have the continuous communication we have the cables connecting from end to end and 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 uh, all also the thing is that a little latency in SCADA will not have much impact uh, a little jitter will not have much impact but but though we ensure a very fast communication here as well to to uh, avoid any type of mismatch or any type of uh, jitter in the network so basically this is the high level map where we can see several zones are there so let, let's study about this zone so there are basically d zones SCADA zone is there process zone is there SCADA dmz zone is there then engineering zone is there then office land public dmz dso van and and primary substation telecom operator and secondary substation energy supplier zone so these are some zones what we can see so let, let's go and we'll study some of the zones so basically SCADA zone uh, what we see this is the um, more more elaborated picture of the SCADA zone so in the SCADA zone is the most essential part of the structure this is where the commands from the operators are delivered and then distributed to actual substations so basically we see SCADA is taking all the process data we have HMIs here and time server also for time synchronization we have similar uh, historian as as in DCS we have uh, uh, maintenance data and then uh, then uh, for, for the further process we have a communication to the process zones also then uh, we have a SCADA DMZ zone and this means that it is acting as an intermediate zone for the data transfer between SCADA and the office zone so dmz uh, full form of dmz is demilitarized zone and why it is called demilitarized zone because we do not have a direct communication from this zone to uh, to any any zone so here here we uh, everything passes through the firewall so both sides there are the firewall that's why it is called a demilitarized zone so in dmz whatever communication will come it will be thoroughly inspected by the firewalls and then only uh, it will be allowed to pass from one zone to another zone so it has got connections to the office zone where the staff office staff are working with the statistics and the status information like for instance power outages and it has got vpn connection so what is vpn vpn is virtual private network it is also a secured con connection coming from the outside so this is done to create a secure channel on the internet or, or on a public network to the external hardware or software vendor. So basically we discussed here only two zones but there are other zones also in the SCADA. There are engineering zones we can see, see in the SCADA. So engineering zone where the power system structure is defined where uh, the definition and this is not limited to only the power industry so SCADA yeah it is most popular in the substation and power distribution but the SCADA can be used in other industries also so the definition is then fed into the SCADA system and will determine what operations that can be done to different parts of the power grid or, or the field instrumentation I can say so uh, so this is about the engineering zone then 
then we have we can see here dso so what is dso dso full form is like distribution system operator area so distribution operation area uh, can be a dedicated channel only may managed by the distribution system operator or uh, uh, it, it 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 could be connected by a fiber uh, communication directly so that is a dso zone then uh, we could have a telecom and operator uh, secondary substations also so that that is connected by the telecom telecom uh, communication then uh, we can see one ami zone also and ami zone contains for collector readings of the energy communication from the household industrial and customers as well as allowing the office staff to query meter status and in some environments send switching commands to specific customers when needed so in in case if the smart meters are used then in that case this ami ami zone controls all those communication apart from there uh, apart from that there are uh, multiple hardware software vendor zones then tso tso zones then uh, data hub and energy supplier zones also all are connected from internet and they can take read or write data as per the rules defined and the policies defined here so this is how like SCADA networks are basically very very uh, very highly distributed and communication is also not regular so communication is also like uh, we can use any type of communication happening uh, we should not stick to only one type of communication and and, and that is the end-to-end -end, uh, point to point cable communication so uh, we can use all sorts of communication we can read any any devices it's not also devices specific only the protocol and if if the rtus or the substations whatever design those those follow the standard designing principles then any any SCADA can read data from the any of the controllers of substation devices and rtus you can say so this was all about the SCADA overview and we'll also see like uh, how how all these systems or all these things are pretty common to each other so that we can define and design the cyber security requirements so we'll study about these in our upcoming chapters so let's move to next till then thank you